eat healthy so that I can live a healthy life. Eating healthy doesn't have to be expensive. You also don't need to use low quality ingredients or highly processed ingredients. I'm using high quality ingredients to make four simple meals. These meals are easy to make and they are both healthy and budget friendly. I love meal prepping because it really helps simplify meal time during the week. There are very many options in these meals that you can prep several days in advance if you'd like. Something that I found helps keep grocery costs low is to make double meals. These are meals that are large enough that I can use for two or even more meals. Today I'm going to be showing options for two double meals. Another way that keeps costs down is to use little or no meat. All of the items I'm cooking today are mostly vegetarian, but I am going to give options of where you could add meat if you prefer. I'm including a downloadable PDF with all of these recipes in the description below. Red rice and beans is a really simple meal to make and it makes a very large portion. So this is our first double meal. We'll be using the leftovers of the rice and beans for enchiladas. In a heavy, large pot, saute three pieces of chopped bacon until browned. A little bacon adds a lot of flavor, but is not necessary. I don't eat meat, but my family does, so I cut the bacon into large pieces so I can remove them in my portions. After the bacon has browned, add one cup chopped onions and one chopped red bell pepper, four cloves minced garlic, Saute until the onions and pepper are soft. Add two cups rice. Stir until completely coated. Stir in two tablespoons tomato paste, one tablespoon ground cumin, one tablespoon smoked paprika, two teaspoons salt, three bay leaves. Add four cups of water. Two cans of kidney beans that have been drained and rinsed well. Bring to a boil, then reduce heat to medium low and cook until the rice is tender and the water is absorbed, about 20 minutes. Fluff rice with a spoon, remove bay leaves and serve with hot sauce. Enchiladas using the leftover rice and beans. This is a fantastic midweek meal when you're really busy because you have most of this meal already prepared and now you're just going to assemble it into enchiladas. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I like using fresh tortillas. They only take a minute to make. You can find these in the refrigerated section at your grocery store, or you can use the pre-made soft flour tortillas as well too.
Heat one can of refried beans. If you prefer meat in your enchiladas, you could substitute the beans with shredded cooked chicken or browned ground beef. However, substituting meat will be more expensive. In a 13 by 9 baking dish, assemble the enchiladas by adding one scoop of red rice and beans, one scoop of refried beans, and shredded cheddar cheese. You can omit the cheese if you prefer or use a vegan option. Folding the sides and turning the enchilada over so the folds are on the bottom. Pour one can of red or green enchilada sauce over the enchiladas. Place the dish in preheated oven for 25 minutes until the sauce is bubbly and the cheese is melted. You can garnish with avocados, tomatoes, and cilantro. Loaded baked sweet potatoes are a healthy alternative to baked white potatoes. Sweet potatoes are high in fiber, antioxidants, and loaded with vitamins. This dish is perfect for picky eaters in the family because you get to customize the toppings with a variety of options. The sweet potatoes can be prepped many days in advance, which makes for a very quick weekday meal. Preheat oven to 400 Fahrenheit. Wash and dry the sweet potatoes. Line a baking sheet with parchment. Sweet potatoes drip sticky syrup when baked, which can be pretty difficult to clean off of the pan. Poke holes in the potatoes with a fork. Bake for 40 to 50 minutes until the potatoes are soft. When the potatoes have about 10 minutes left to cook, cut the tops off the broccoli. Fill a small pot with one inch of water. Cover broccoli with lid to keep the steam in. Steam a few minutes, but don't overcook. The broccoli should be vibrant green. This meal is one of my family's favorites because each person gets to customize the toppings to only having the things they like on their potato. I like to top my potato with traditional stuffed potato options like butter, cheese, broccoli, green onions, plain Greek yogurt. You could even use pieces of bacon if you'd like. You could top them with a Spanish flair using black beans, salsa, cheddar cheese, plain Greek yogurt, onions, and avocado. Or if you're like my daughter and you have more of a sweet tooth, then you could top it with butter, honey, and cinnamon. Mole chili is not your typical chili. It has dark chocolate mixed in, and so it gives it a really rich texture and taste. Chili is super easy to cook because you pretty much just throw everything in the pot and let it cook. It's really hearty and filled with flavor, so it's great for the fall and winter. This recipe makes between eight and 10 servings, so there are plenty of leftovers. I will either put the leftovers into smaller containers in the fridge so people can grab it for lunch, or I put the leftovers into the freezer, and this way we have a dinner on hand anytime we need it. In a large, heavy pot over medium heat, Add two tablespoons of olive oil, one chopped onion, one 
one chopped red bell pepper, five cloves of minced garlic. Add all of the spices, four tablespoons chili powder, two tablespoons cocoa powder, two teaspoons ground coriander, one tablespoon ground cumin, one teaspoon red pepper flakes. You can adjust this depending on how spicy you want your chili. One teaspoon dried oregano, half teaspoon cayenne pepper. Cook until the onion and pepper are soft, stirring occasionally so it doesn't burn. When the onion and pepper are soft, Add one can red kidney beans, one can black beans. Be sure to drain and rinse thoroughly. One 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes or two smaller cans. One 28 ounce can tomato puree. One teaspoon salt. Stir well, bring to a boil, then reduce heat to low. Cover and simmer for 30 minutes, stirring occasionally so the bottom doesn't burn. After 30 minutes, add four ounces of 85% dark chocolate. Stir and continue simmering for 10 minutes. If you like ground beef in your chili, you can brown a pound of ground beef in a separate pan and then add it to the chili when you add in the chocolate. You can leave your chili plain or you can top it with cheese, plain Greek yogurt, cilantro, lime, avocado, or salsa. Anything you like on top of your chili. Enjoy trying out these simple, healthy recipes that are budget friendly and family friendly. Don't forget that I've also linked the downloadable PDF in the description below for you. Thank you so much everyone and have a beautiful day.